So we open up with a Marla nigga that's gonna hear her new single with Safari. Oh God, so now Safari care about Amara. You don't love yourself. So Amara don't want to hear it. She's like, look, you humping on Eliza. So now Eliza means nothing to him. Just like your wife ain't mean nothing to you. Amara, why are you going after this? Also, look at his choicing skills. You married ugh, one of the most evil creatures on Love and Hip Hop. I don't know what Rock Mona drug that from under. But that's what you married and impregnated, then pulled to conceive and leave. And Amara, this is what you want. He might be good for your career, but not for your mental health. Since you've already pulled a conceive and leave with somebody else's husband. Maybe y'all are meant for each other. Skeezer versus Skeezer. Equally yo, A himbo and a huzzer. Zoe Brinks, this, this ain't it. I don't know what song this is, but it ain't it. Oh good, she don't like it either. So she done run out of money for recording and it sound like it. Oh God, now she gotta go back to Big D to get tracks cleared. So that was ass you should have been kissing. You too worried about integrity when you need to worry about a check. Shay Evans gonna have a photo shoot with Fabo. That's foolish cause all, you, cause all you're doing is capturing a bad memory. Oh God, Shay still whining about Estelita dodging your daughter's birthday party. She ain't friends with your child. And how much does she have in common with the one year old? You just wanted a free gift. In our next scene, Eliza and Amara are having some mommy time. Now that they've switched songs. Brooke Valentine's there too, and they all get to talk about Shay's raggedy ass. Aha! Oh, 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 they talk about how fake them fable pictures look. There ain't no love there. They write on that one. Then again, they're also in loveless and hip hop relationships, so it takes one to know one. So Eliza tells the girls how she checked tomorrow on the last episode. And now I wonder if tomorrow will realize, oh, that's why Eliza means nothing, because he ain't gonna get no puss. Oh, Lord, Eliza's daughter got arrested for stealing catalytic converters. Meanwhile, across town with Estelita and Bobby. So they go over the fight that Amara and him had when he told Eliza's business. Bobby whining he ain't as close with Shay Evans either. Girl, you got fake veneers. You ain't going to flirt and flutter lash loft. Why you need to be up under Shay? So Estelita going to use her brother to get her one-on-one. -on -one. So Amara meet with her baby daddy and they trying to get it on the good foot. He invite her to the, to the DR, but she ain't ready yet. Over with Zoe Brink, she got to call and get them songs cleared, but she want to keep her head up her butt. So Brooke is supposedly the voice of reason this season and Amara goes to her for counseling about her baby daddy. So Amara says they in a better place and she gonna go and bring everybody with her. However, Shay Evans isn't invited. But of course, Brooke gonna invite her for the mess. Brooke earning that check. Cause you know we've gotta have some healing on the ceiling. After that, we gonna have the dinner with Shay where she forces Fabo on her family. So she walk in with him and everybody like, ah, oh, yeah. So Shay thinks she's about to have a celebratory dinner, but in comes Flo and Gael. So Bobby mad at them. Oh goodness, Gael bring up the voodoo. She said, oh, that's why you're back with Shay. Cats to spell your way. No. Lord, were you suckling at a shrine? Why is voodoo a plot line of another reality show? They gotta be sharing notes. Oh God, Amara inviting Bobby on this trip too? Dummies in DR. So Bobby says that he apologizes to Amara for telling her that Eliza was cheating with her man. And she says, well, you know, I still got a spark with Safari. The flint of foolishness. So Amara says a relationship with her baby father now is no bueno because he's married. But not before you got your twins. The sounds of a simpleton. Bobby wants to bring Trina, and Amara's like, well, tell her to leave her man at home, but she ain't gonna do that. And Shay still ain't invited. Oh, God, but now Brooke gonna bring Shay in on the bull. So, supposedly, Amara put a laughing emoji under a negative comment about Shay's health troubles. But we don't know if it's true. Safari now trying to get into the Haitian market with Flo. More like some Haitian humping on the go. So, they bond over their cheating ways and weak moments. Girl, she gonna seduce him. She got him putting on a track once you get him gyrating. 
Shay gonna go to D.I., I guess, with her man. Oh, God. So Shay go visit her mama to ask her to babysit. And Shay mama like, I don't want you dabbling in voodoo. Hot as dick is to find these days, I don't know. I might have to cast a spell. Zoe goes to Flo and whines about having apologized to the manager. You better get your coin. Apologies are free. So Zoe invites Flo, even though Flo ain't on the good foot with Amara. So it's a whole cast trip. Oh, God, we're bringing Gael. So Eliza says, if Shay's going, I'm not going. Well, Eliza, you're not that important. Stay home. Stay home. Stay. So Zoe already having issues with Gael, and so am I. So am I. Gael is really being nasty, but she don't know any other way to be. So we gonna host a brunch the next morning. Estelita come by Amara room. So Amara says Shay is on the way. Oh Lord. Shay made fun of. Okay Shay, I can't believe what you said to Estelita. That is beyond evil. But then again, you kiss Flavor Flav. So we know you'll do anything with that mouth. Eliza, I don't care about you reconnecting with your daughter. Oh God, and she pregnant? By the fool you hate. But everybody finally sits down at this brunch and everybody looks like they got an attitude. But Amara does a little speech and the trip is all about Helen. Helen. I watched this show for a little Helen. The foolishness is good. So we already start off fight with Gael and Trina. Hell, Hot Topic ain't even here. Oh no, Hot Topic and Joy are here. Girl, she talking about Broward County Court sounding just like me. So Flo got the rent receipts. She said, you ain't gonna embarrass me twice. Oh, God, but then Zoe get into it for no real reason. So Gael calls Zoe fake for trying to get them on the good foot. And that's where we leave it, and I'm gonna see you soon for something. 17 weeks, and Robin can't tell the truth. 17 weeks, <sighs> And one is done with you. We can't take it, won't take it, can't take it no more. We had about enough of you. And you'll end up all alone. All alone. Robin, Robin, you know that man don't want you. And you can't do anything about it. Oh, about it, babe, about it, babe, yeah. Embarrassing you across the TV screens. You tell these lies and the bullshit it screams. Oh, how he leave you all alone with them damn two kids. He's wrong, dead wrong, telling lies. How do you go? 17 weeks and one's done with you 17 weeks and we just about through we can't take it won't take it can't take it no more had about enough of you we'd rather be on our own on our own